Sean P. Wright with LexJet, and I'm here today with Dom. He's the Eastern Regional Sales Manager with GraphTech. And we're here today to talk about some of the great products that you can use to finish your printing. We all know we've got to print things, right? But that's just the beginning. That's the first half. When it comes off the machine, you're only part of the way done. Once it's off the machine, you've got to cut it. And there's no better system in the market than a GraphTech cutter. Dom, how are you doing today? Good morning. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Great. So I'm standing in front of the FC. This is the FC 9000. This is our flagship model. So the machines that I'm more familiar with are the FC and the CE. Can you tell me the difference between the FC and the CE? Sure, great question. So on the FC line, we make four sizes. We make everything from a 30 inch unit, a 42, a 54, and a 64. This also comes with a media basket and comes with a three year warranty. On the CE side of things, we have three sizes. We have a 15 inch, a 24 inch, and a 50 inch unit, and they come with a two year warranty, but they do not have the media basket. Why do we want to use either one? Most people that have a large format printer are going to use the FC 9000 series. Now, you, you talked about the warranty on both machines. Now, I've dealt with one of these. I've had the CE 7060 for about three or four years now, and I run the heck out of that machine. And I can tell you firsthand, the warranty is basically useless because these things are built like Rolls Royces, they don't break down. What we're trying to do is give the consumer peace of mind. Mm -hmm. um, most products out there are about a year warranty. Mm -hmm. We want to back everything up, tell people, look, we are so confident in our product that we're going to give you a three-year warranty on this. And as you pointed out, on the CE is a two-year warranty. Generally, totally have no issues with them. But if we do, we're backing it up with those extra years. Yeah, I mean, you guys have always been great to deal with in every conversation I've ever had. but. Every time I've ever talked to any end user about the machine and they're like, well, what's the warranty like? I'm like, it's great, but you'll never need it. I mean, these things are just bulletproof. It's of all the devices I've worked with across any platform. This is the only one that I've never had any problems with and it didn't even hit at problems with it. The few calls that we get on it most of the time, it's not mechanically related. It's usually operator error. They just push the wrong button or something so we can help them out. Uh, we have tons of great videos on our website too that actually show you how to operate this machine so that you're not left stuck in the middle of a job and you can't get all of anybody. So we really try to take care of the consumer. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do with these. Now, when I first came into this, I was looking at these cutters as an, a solution for cutting photos. So if somebody printed a whole sheet of five by 10, five by sevens, four by sixes, eight by tens, but they didn't want to sit there and hand cut them, they could bring it over to the machine and it would cut them out, which was great. Then I started playing with some of the other things that were out there in terms of being able to do contour cutting and stuff like that. And we got into stickers and packaging and stuff. Tell me some of the things that you've seen and some of the materials that are really popular on here. Well, obviously the, the first and foremost is usually regular vinyl. You can take any, that's the great thing about the graph tech. We take any of the printers that are here at the show, any of the manufacturers and use a graph tech. We like to tell people that we can, we're so fast that the printer can't keep up with it. So the great thing about this is you can do decal stickers, pop them out. You can also cut sandblast rubber. You can cut high intensity diamond grade reflective material with this. You can cut heat transfer vinyl with this. You can cut regular colored vinyl, pressure sensitive vinyl with this. We can cut fluorographic material with this. It's a wide range of materials. Not everything, but I like to say just about anything that comes on a roll we pretty much can cut. Yeah, I even, we, we toyed around with the magnetic material that was on a roll. And you've got other machines back here that cut it really easily. This, this one we cut with it, we had to do two passes, but it cut it fine, it was like butter. So it was just, it was a little extra settings, but it was just one of those things where even the limitations that the machine has, you can find ways to work around it and it can do more than what you expect. Yes, it does. I mean, we don't say to do this 24 seven cut magnetic, cause all things made out of metal but we do have people that occasionally need to do something for one of their big customers and they will do it. Uh, but most of the time it's done what we call print and cut uh, because of the fact that you just have registration marks on here. It does the contour cut, even the printing. So that's the big features. It is multi-use. Now, one of the biggest questions I get are consumables. And I think most of the people that are using these machines, they're printing also. So their first thing goes to What's my consumable? On the on my printers, I'm buying tons of ink and I'm buying print heads and I'm buying the maintenance cartridges. The only consumable on this is the blade. And then they want to know, well, 
how long is this blade gonna last? I get that question a lot. That, that's a great question. So it really, my answer is usually, how long do the brake pads last in your car? Mm -hmm. So are you a lead foot or are you going easy? But general rule of thumb, I like to tell people about six months. And then the next question is how much are the blades? The blades are about $35 a piece. So it's a very low investment. Yeah, the first thing I did was actually get two different blade holders so that I could use different sizes depending on what I was doing. If I was cutting a heavier material, I'd use the one with the red cap. And if I was cutting something thinner, I'd switch to the one with the blue cap. That alone saved me on blades because I wasn't wearing one blade out unnecessarily. But then I learned really quick. I think my first month, I went through four blades because I was killing myself on force and blade depth. And once I kind of understood that these blades are drag blades, they kind of work like a weather vane. The, whichever way the wind is blowing, that's the way they're gonna go. And if you have them too far down, they're just pushing down into that Teflon pad and it's just dragging it along. I'm glad you brought that up. So one of the very cool features about the 7000 and the 9000 series, especially while we're doing contour cutting and perf cutting, if anybody doesn't know what perf cutting is, I'm sure everybody's torn out a little card reader in a magazine that has a little perforations on the side. Same situation here, but one of the best features about the GraphTech is you're not gonna wreck your blade anymore or your Teflon strip because we have what's called a far position on our cutter. And by That's putting it right. in that far position, when it's doing the perf cut, it's sitting over a deep channel. And by having it in the deep channel, that means the blade is not touching the Teflon strip. It's just popping through this. So you're not wearing, not wearing your, your blade out and you're gonna get much more longevity out of the blade. So just going through and understanding those things, knowing how to use the machine properly, learning those four settings, learning the blade depth will make that blade last forever. I think once I figured this out, my blades actually lasted a year or more. I so have it was plenty just... of people. I have plenty of people that last a year on these blades. So as long as everything's set up correctly, we like I said, I like to tell people six months, but $35 for a blade, you can buy a two pack of blades for 70 some dollars and you basically have a whole year before you're gonna need another blade. The only other consumable, as you mentioned, is the actual Teflon strip. And that's uh, $20, $30 for a Teflon strip. So there's not much consumable, so you have to buy with this. Now I mentioned packaging early, and when I started playing with packaging on this, it opened the world up in terms of the customers that it was available to. Schools were already buying this because they were doing the stickers with their school logo, and they were selling these as fundraisers off of this machine. So they print them out, they cut out stickers, and they sell stickers to the school. My kid went to this school. And the cost savings for them to be able to do this themselves was great. But then when we started messing with packaging, it opened up other avenues for businesses to use for packaging. But again, back to the schools, I had a school that said, you know, we've got a golf team that's always looking for a good fundraiser. Can we do golf ball sleeves? Now you've got a golf ball sleeve here. They started doing golf ball sleeves with their logo on it, and they started selling ads on the golf ball sleeve to the local businesses as their fundraiser. So they would first sell ads, and then they would sell the golf ball sleeve. So they did a double fundraiser. The first fundraiser was buying the ad on the box, and the second fundraiser was actually buying the golf ball sleeves. So schools, companies, small businesses, a lot of mom and pop small businesses that are getting into packaging, their issue was, when I want to get packaging, I'm having to buy 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 pieces of packaging, but I'm a small business. I really need 100 or 10 or 20. This machine really gave them the ability to do one-offs and really do low volume. So talk to me about packaging on this in terms of its capabilities. So the you, you touched on most of it. You're not going to do high production volume on this, but for something like what you suggested on the schools, you could take card stock such as this, run it through with the same type of registration marks that we use for everything else and be able to actually use the knife as the creasing tool. So you can actually fold this, take it, put it all together and fold it. And as you said, sell them as golf ball sleeves. But all day. run it through here using the same knife, the same system. We really don't have to change anything. So it will work for it. Yeah, and most of the people I talk to, they're like, how can this handle packaging? It's not gonna handle the heavy coarse me media that I need or I think most people, when they think of packaging, they think of like a cereal box or mac and cheese box. box too. Exactly. And I'm like, no, think about it. If you go down the aisle for toothpaste, what do you do when you pick up a toothpaste box? You take your tube out. What do you do? You throw the box away. Correct. Toothpaste, pill bottles like ibuprofen, aspirin, things like that. Those bottles are really thin media because they're just there for staging. 
and then they just get thrown away. So it's a much thinner media. So consumers are used to that thinner media that works great for packaging. So if you're a small business and you need something, this will do it. If you're a school that's looking for a fundraiser, this will do it. This is a great device to take your business from this to this really quickly and easily at a low cost. The fact that it will do multiple different kinds of material really gives the FC 9000 a leg up in the class that it's in. So as you pointed out, not just vinyl, some of the other materials I mentioned, but to be able to do some of this kind of stuff. And occasionally if they had to throw some magnetic material in here, multi-range. Next level. Dom, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. And if you guys are interested in more information about the Graph Tech line, and you should be because it's absolutely amazing, call us at 1-800-4-LEXJET or LEXJET.com.